Achoo! Oh, I feel awful. Do you want a healthy treat? No. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I'll only eat this if it's turned into something sweet. Well, let's try it. Okay, but you're cooking. Really? Yeah. Fine. Let's go. Hey everybody, so today we're going to be making caramel apples. This is going to be a variation. We're not going to be using a whole apple. We're going to be using slices instead. So without any further ado or notice, let's get started. Okay, so the first step is you're going to want to pair, core, and quarter your apples. So let's do that. Struggling. I hate peeling apples. So as you can tell, I'm struggling greatly, and Molly is a master peeler. So why don't we get in, get her in here to give this a try? Hey Molly, why don't you show us how to do this? As you can tell, Molly's not feeling 100% today. I don't have any makeup on either. I have to do everything. You have to peel the apple, Dan. Don't let the apple peel you. Okay, so now go ahead and set these aside, and we're going to get started on the sauce, so I'll see you guys at the oven. Alrighty, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to add your brown sugar and your water, and you're going to mix that together, and then as soon as that's dissolved, we're going to add the apple slices to it. And you put this over about medium heat. Okay, so then we're going to add the apples, and we're going to cook them in the sauce until they're tender, and then we're going to put them on a serving tray and then we will finish the sauce. Okay, and make sure you stir it constantly so it doesn't burn. Hey Toe, you wanna to stir some apples? Hell yeah. He likes your beard. He did this before I had a beard. Hey Tully, oh good kitty. Tell he wants his 15 minutes of fame. Look how cute he is. Oh God. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke him with a fork. If the fork goes in easily, you just go ahead and put him on a plate or a serving tray. Now you're gonna take your cornstarch, put it in your milk, and then mix it up. Now you're just going to go ahead and slowly whisk it into the sauce. And now you just cook it until it's thick. So the original recipe tells you to do this with a double boiler, but I'm impatient and I'm just doing it this way. Okay, so we're going to add some butter and salt. And then a splash of vanilla. Then just go ahead and mix everything together. Okay, so now you just go ahead and pour your caramel sauce over your, your apples. Alrighty, and we'll just let that go ahead and cool down and then we will taste it out. Alright Dan, what did you make here? Caramel apples slices. Caramel apples. I usually think of an apple on a stick. Yeah. When I see caramel apples, but they're really good. Yeah, easier to eat. Yeah, it is easier to eat. It's a, kind of a, a syrup that's sitting in. Mm -hmm. Tastes like caramel apples, but you know, I don't like eating caramel apples because I don't like biting into the whole apple covered in caramel. They're, they are a little tricky to eat. This, this is, is a lot easier. Yeah, this is really delicious. Not what I think of when I think of a caramel apple but just as good. So they're buttery, they're appley, they're sweet. We made a third of the recipe because there's only two of us. We had to do a third of the recipe and it was a little hard to do that based on some of the amounts in here. It wasn't like a clean 
it was just kind of hard to divide up like half, half a cup of water or like divide that into thirds. So I had to kind of approximate some of the measurements. Well, you had to approximate some of the measurements. So hopefully we got it right. Well, it tastes right. So this recipe comes from this book, The Good Housekeeping Cookbook. This is from 1933. <coughs> Sorry, Dan was kind enough to make this for me today because I'm a little under the weather, thanks to him. Yeah. <laughs> it's not COVID and <laughs> thankfully. So we thought let's just make something that would be a good treat for fall, for Halloween and thought of caramel apples. Now I, I found a lot of recipes for, for candied apples that were, <coughs> none of them were on a stick. So I don't know mm. if, the, if the apple on a stick covered in caramel and candy is like a fairly recent thing, but every cookbook I have that spans several generations, you know, that call for candied apples are cut up, pared and cut up. <coughs> I do, I do, I, I prefer it that way. This is a heck of a lot easier to eat. Popping for apples is a really bad idea lately. <laughs> Sicky. All right, so don't bob for apples this year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're from 1933. So this is what a caramel apple was like in 1933, apparently. It's delicious. Yeah. You should definitely give them a try. And I'll put the recipe for you guys down below in the description box. So you will have that. And it doesn't say what type of apple to use, so just use your favorite apple. I think we used, what did we use? Gala's. We used Gala apples. So if you like this recipe and you want to see more vintage recipes like this caramel apples, then please subscribe and hit the like button. I upload new content every Friday, and Dan and I are always here taste testing vintage recipes. Bye, everybody. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.